Now here in this question, um, number of engineers employed in various companies has been given. A uh, study the bar diagram carefully answer the question. The first question over here: the number of postgraduate engineers employed in company. It's company actually. Uh, w is what percent of the total engineers employed in that co uh, company? Okay, company W postgraduate engineers. Postgraduate that means uh, this blank box. Company W it starts with hundred and goes up to three hundred, so it is two hundred. Okay, so two hundred is the numerator, and the total number of engineers is six fifty. Into hundred, so this is the calculation we have to make. Now the here, uh, now here the answers are not approximated because we are able to see the figure one by three. That means in the denominator that uh, there is definitely a multiple of three. Okay, but uh, this over here six fifty it is not multiple of three. So among these four, we don't have any correct option, right? So it's none of these. Okay, once again the total number of postgraduate engineers from 300 to 100 i deducted so it is 200 and total number of engineers is 650 so post graduate engineers from total engineers is 200 by 650 i hope it's clear uh what is the average number of junior engineers employed in all the companies okay junior employees that means uh, Junior engineers over this one, so this is so it is hundred, hundred, one fifty, and this is. I just draw a horizontal line over here. So it is two fifty, and it is also two fifty. Okay, so it's five hundred, uh, six fifty, seven fifty, eight fifty. Divided by five, so eight fifty divided by five, one seventy is the correct answer. Okay, pretty simple. If the number of uh, all the engineers in the company V, company X, and company Y be increased by thirty, thirty-five percent, and forty percent respectively, what will be the overall percentage increase in the number of all engineers of all the companies taken together? So initially, it is. Uh, Total of all these four hundred, six fifty, seven hundred. This, this, this. So we just add all of them. Nine uh, plus six, fifteen, sixteen, and seven hundred twenty-three, twenty-three, twenty-seven, thirty-four, fifty. Okay, this is the initial total. Now we have to see increase from it. So. Uh, we just can calculate the increase only. We just have to. We don't have to make the entire total. Now, company V increased by thirty percent. So, increase is company V increased by thirty percent. So, increase is one twenty. Plus, uh, company X increased by thirty five percent. So, thirty five percent of seven hundred. So, seven into thirty five. Okay. Then, forty uh, percent in case of company Y. So ninety-five into forty. So this is the increase. Okay, don't have to make the total because we just have to find the inc percentage increase. So this is increase on total. Okay, so this calculation we have to make. So this is three, four, five, seven, forty-five. Okay. Uh, definitely, it is uh, more than twenty percent because thirty-four into two sixty-eight. It is much more than that. So definitely more than twenty percent. But we have the closer option as twenty-two and twenty-four. So let's go for the bit. Uh, go for a bit simplification. So five. Sixty-nine two zar one thirty-eight. So it is precisely two times after that. It is eleven by sixty-nine. So that will be cancelled less than two times because it's almost a uh, one thirty-eight. Okay, so it is a uh, twenty-one point something percent. So closest option is twenty-two percent. Okay, I hope you are clear. 
Uh, what is the ratio between number of assistant engineers employed in company B and company X? Assistant engineers, uh, the upper portion. And now that question is very simple. Company V, that is this portion. So that is 250 to 400. It is 150. And uh, company X, it is 500 to 700, 200. So this is very simple. So some of the questions, they take time and some of the questions, they really do not take any time. Okay. So all the questions of this set are done. Now let's see this set of questions. Uh, we have two pie diagrams over here. In the first one, total number of employees in eight countries, eight different countries. And over here, a uh, number of male employees in eight different countries. Okay. Okay. Let's take the first question. Uh, what is the ratio between male employees working in the country 1 and country 2 respectively? Male employees, here male employees breakup is given 56,000. In country 1 it is 15% of 56,000 and in country 2 it is 10% uh, of 56,000. Since 56,000 is common, so the ratio will be 15 by 10 or we can say 3 is to 2. Okay, so that's pretty simple. Uh, next is, what is the ratio between the number of male employees and female employees of country 2? Male employees of country 2 is uh, uh, 56,000, 10%, so that is 5,600. Okay, so just write it down. Okay, how do we calculate the female employees? Uh, see, total employees in country 2 is 12% uh, of 86,000. So I can say it is 860 into 12 and out of that if I deduct 5600 that will be the total number of female employees right. So that is male and this is female out of total I deducted number of male employees so the remaining is female employees. Now we can take the help of options in the numerator we have 70 that means it is 70 into 80. So 80 can be taken as common from the denominator so this is 70 and 80 I will be taking common. So it is also 70 and this is I uh, will be taking uh, 4 from here so it is 3 and 20 from here. So it is 23, okay, and 80 is common. So that 80 and uh, 80 in the numerator that is cancelled. Okay, 860 divided by 20, it is 43. So uh, we have, we are left with 70 by 43 into 3, that is 129 minus 70. So 70 by 59, okay. So that's pretty simple. I hope you are clear. Option C. Uh, what is the approximate average number of male employees in country 1, 2 and 3? So 1, 2 and 3, the total number of employees must be 15 plus 10, 25 and 12, 37 percent of 56,000. Okay, so it is 560 into 37. Since we have to find out the average, I'll divide this calculation by 3. So this is, uh, I'll make it 561, so it can be divisible by 3, 187 into 37. Now since options are closed, 6907 and 6977 and uh, 69170, so we just cannot go for the uh, more approximation and uh, apart from that digital root technique will not work here, so just go for the manual multiplication of the numbers. Fifty six plus twenty one seventy seven plus four eighty one one eight carry seven plus seven uh, seven plus uh, twenty four thirty one and eight that's six nine one nine around so six nine zero seven is the closest answer. Okay, I hope you are clear. Uh, what is the average number of female employees in country 4 and country 
uh, seven okay female employees so total employees in uh, first of all we uh, count the total employees in country four and seven so instead of calculating individual we can calculate the total number of employees in these two countries so here it is four and seven four is uh, 14 and 7 it is 7 so that is 21 percent of 86,000 so it is 21 into 860 these are the total number of male employees in these two countries from that we deduct the total number of I'm sorry this is the total number of employees in these two countries out of that if we deduct the total number of male employees we'll be getting the total number of female employees in these two countries okay so total number of uh, male employees 18 and uh, here it is 9 so it is 27 percent of 56,000 so it is 27 into 560 so this is the total number of female uh, employees but we have to find out the average so we'll divide this calculation by 2 okay just remove 0 Then it is 27 into 20, 27 square is 729 plus 27. So it is uh, 147 and we have 0. So precisely it is 1470. Okay, so that's pretty simple. By what percent is the total number of employees in country 5, 6 and 7 more than number of male employees working in countries 2, 3 and 4? So 5, 6, 7 total number of employees is uh, 17, 16, 33 and 7, 40 percent of 86,000. Okay, so it is 40 into 860. This is the total number of employees and this is how much more than male employees. So it is uh, 10 and 12 22 18 40 percent so that is also 40 into 560 right since we have to find out more uh, like by what percent it is more so we'll divide it by total number of male employees in these three countries okay so 40 40 40 is common 0 is also common so 86 minus 56 that is uh, 30 by 56 So it is 3,087, this is 125 into 3, 375, 53 point something, so this is the correct answer. Okay, I hope you are clear. By what percent is the total number of employees is more than this? Okay, so uh, base on in the base, the total number of male employees from country 2, 3 and 4 should be there because we have to find out more percent than this, right? So in the base, it should be there. So you have to be careful about it. In the following table, information regarding publishing books by different publishers has been given. Study the table carefully and answer the questions. Uh, publishing house, MNOPQRS. And uh, it should be, I guess, Q. Number of books published, academic is to non-academic and percentage of book distribute, distributors in publishing house. Okay, let's take the first question. What is the difference between the number of academic books published by publishing house M and P? Okay, so publishing house M, academic books must be 7 by 10 of 28200. Uh, okay, academic is to non-academic, the ratio is 7 is to 3. So it should be 7 by 10 of this total number of academic books. So it should be 7 into 2820. And uh, by P, it should be 8 by 13 of this. So we have to do this calculation. So 
so just could remove the zero uh, 7 twos are 14 minus 8 into 0, 0, so it should be 4. We just make it simple. So it is 540. Okay. How many books were given to each distributor by publisher Q if each publisher gets equal number of books? Okay, so total number of books published is 33800. Out of that, 79% uh, books are getting distributed. So the total number of books which are distributed is 338 into 79. And of this, 25, uh, 25 distributors are there. So each one will get this divided by 25. I just do it once again. 33800 total number of books. Out of that 79% are books, 79% uh, books are distributed. So 338 into 79, the total books to be distributed and there are 25 distributors. So each will get this divided by 25. Okay. Uh, will not be able to get the complete answer. It should be fractional value. Uh, we don't have anything that in like that in options so maybe approximated value we need to calculate so we find the closest answer 79 divided by 25 it is just something around 3 so closest to this is 1068 because we have eliminated the decimal portion 79 divided by 25 so it should be 1068 because the other options are quite far from this and uh, this calculation the remaining portion cannot take that huge value right uh, greater than this we have 130 so that is quite far from this so 1068 is the correct answer Uh, what is the average number of non-academic books published by publisher R and S? Publisher R 35700 and non-academic is uh, 6 by 17. Okay, so it is 35700 into 6 by 17 and uh, this uh, publisher S 37800 into 13 by 18. Okay, so this is the total number of books published by these two publishers. So to find out average, we'll divide the calculation by 2. So that we'll do later on. Okay, we remove the two zeros. So 21 into 6 plus 21 into 13. 21 can be taken as common. So it is 21 into... 13 plus 6, 19 by 2 and into 100. So it is 2 into 50. 21 into 19 into 50 is our calculation. So that is 20 plus 1, 20 minus 1. So it's 20 square minus 1, 400 minus 1, 399 into 50. Or we can do 399 by 2. Okay, pretty simple. Uh, since the calculation is simple, do not go for any other uh, method like digital route because that would take much time because this 21 into 19 can be easily calculated. 20 plus 1 into 20 minus 1, that is 400 minus 1, 399. And when you have to multiply a number by 50, what you can do is you just put up double zero and divide it by 2. So dividing by 2 is much easier, right? So 399 double zero divided by 2, 19950, right? What is the total number of books distributed uh, uh, by publisher O and Q? Publisher O 29700 and the percentage distributed is 92%. So this is into 92. And uh, publisher Q it is 338 into 79. So this is the total number of books distributed by 
these two publishers. Now what we can do is uh, we can calculate the unit digit that is 7 into 2 4 and uh, 8 9s are 72 unit digit must be 6. No approximation is required over here because uh, it's, we will not be able to get any sort of fractional value. Okay after that uh, these two options are having 6 so 5 and 4 this difference so we can go for the digital root method. So digital root of this is 9 because this number is multiple of 9 and uh, digital root of this is 9 and 7 16 that is 7 and 8 so in all digital root must be 8 so out of these two 6 7 8 8 and uh, yeah the digital root is 8 of uh, 54026 so this is the correct option okay so that's pretty simple since there is none of these bit chance you have to take okay and if you don't want to take any chance, you need to go for the actual multiplication. I hope that's clear to you. If the total number of books published by publishers P, Q and R is increased by 30% and the total number of books published by remaining is decreased by 20%, what is the new average? Okay, uh, P, Q, R. So the total is uh, this. So this is the total of PQ and R and it is increased by 30%. So this is the new total plus the remaining So it is 1, 2, 7, 9, double 0 and it is decreased by 20%. So it is 0.8. So this is our calculation and we have to divide this calculation by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. Okay. Too much calculation is there and uh, divide. we have to divide by 7. So I hope you will be getting the approximate answer remove this remove this Okay, not at all difficult, but yes, calculations are there. The ratio of number of books published by publishers P and Q. Now that's very simple. P and Q, we can see 312 by 338. So that's pretty simple. One fifty six by one sixty nine. So some of the question they really do not take any time. Okay, so we are done with all the questions of this set. Some of the question were really time consuming, but some of them were not. Okay, in the following table, the number of candidates appeared and qualified for different posts in institute during various years has been given. Uh, read the table carefully and answer the question for year 2001 to 2006 post a b c d e f guess it should be p and uh, appeared qualified appeared qualified fine now the first question is 
What is the approximate average number of candidates who qualified for all the posts in the year 2002? So in 2002, qualified is this number. So we have to find out the average of these data. Again, we can uh, use the deviation method to calculate the average. I assume the average to be 300, right? Because the options are around 300, uh, 1020 more or less. So I assume the average to be 300. Always, uh, whenever you assume the mean, just take it a comfortable data, right? So addition and subtraction will be very easy for you. Now 300 is the assumed average. So this is minus 110, this is minus 20, this is also minus 20, this is plus 15, it is plus 16, it is plus 123. So this is 31, 123 plus 31, uh, 154 and this is minus 150. So we are left with positive 4 and divided by 6. So 4 divided by 6 is very small data and uh, uh, th that is the mean deviation 4 divided by 6 our assumed, devi uh, assumed mean was 300 uh, deviation is 4 by 6 so it, it's very small data so the approximate average will be 300 only right so instead of adding the numbers if you go by the deviation method it will be very easy to solve I hope you are clear uh, what is the approximate average number of candidates who appeared for all the posts in the year 2006? Now in this case uh, it's appeared and uh, you can see the average is around uh, it's more than 350 but we should not assume 350 because sometimes addition subtraction becomes difficult so what I do is I assume the average to be 400 right so appeared it is plus 83 and uh, this is minus 61 this is minus 65 this is plus 10 this is minus 19 this is minus 30 so 61 and 19 80 80 83 so that's how we are left with 3 over here 3 plus uh, uh, minus 65 plus 3 that's minus 62 minus 52 and minus 30 minus 82 divided by 6 so 6 1 2 6 around 13 we should deduct because it is negative so 400 minus 13 if we deduct so we'll be getting around 386 okay since it is 13 point something, so we can approximately take it at uh, 14. So from 400, we need to deduct 14, so we'll be getting 386. Okay, I hope you are clear. The difference between the number of candidates who appeared and qualified for the post D in the year 2001, 2 and 3. Okay, so for the post D, this is and 2001, 2 and 3. So precisely what we have to do? Uh, we have to add the data of appeared and uh, we have to deduct the data of qualified, right? Because we have to find out the difference. So what we can do is we just uh, put up the addition and subtraction sign over here and can do it directly. So it's minus, then plus, minus, then plus, then minus, right? And you should be doing the addition and subtraction simultaneously, okay? So it's minus 4. Uh, we are uh, taking unit digits, so it's minus 4 plus 7, that is plus 3, minus 2, plus 5, so f unit digit is 5, okay? Then 2 minus 6 minus 4, 3, 2, uh, plus 8, 10, minus 9, 1, okay? 4 minus 3, 1, plus 5, 6, minus 3, 3, plus 4, 7, minus 2, 5. So your answer is 515. Pretty simple. Uh, what approximate percentage of candidates qualified for the post A in year 2003? Okay, in year 2003, A appeared 330, qualified 240. So precisely our calculation is 24 by 33 into 100. 3, 8 and 11. Okay. 
So 1 by 11 is 9.09 percent. I have already told you in the session of percentage, you must be knowing the percentage fraction equivalent. Okay, both ways, percentage to fraction and fraction to percentage. So 1 by 11 is 9.09 percent. So 8 uh, by 11 will be 8 into 9.09, that is 72.72 approx. So bit less than 73 percent. Okay, pretty simple. The respective ratio between number of candidates who qualified for the post A and uh, D in the year 2002. So for year 2002, for post A qualified is 190 and uh, for post D, uh, it should be B, so D is this, qualified should be 315. So that's pretty simple. Okay. In which year maximum number of candidates were selected for the post of you know that's really really very simple question. You just have to see the qualified numbers. So that's highest in year two thousand six. Okay. So that's just see and mark. In which year minimum number of candidates qualified for the post F? Post F minimum number 412, 423, 322, 190, 279 and 337. So 190 is the least that is 2004. So these two questions were really very simple can be done in 10 seconds. Uh, so out of seven questions uh, some two questions are very simple and remaining questions are even very simple. Okay, so the entire set can be taken in 5 minutes, not more than that. The average number of candidates who qualified for all the posts in the year 2004. Once again, we can use the deviation method. Uh, we'll be taking the, uh, assuming the average as or mean as 300. So qualified we have to see. So this is 9 plus 54 minus 79. This is then this is plus 180 plus 116 and this is minus 110. Now this is 189, this is 189, negative positive cancel. So we are left with the 170 divided by 6. Twenty-eight point something, so three hundred and twenty-eight. Simple. So simply we did it. Uh, if you go by the deviation method, uh, the problem becomes very simple. Uh, we assume the average to be three hundred. We see the deviation, and uh, then we have to find out the mean deviation. Since there are six data, I divided the deviation by six to get the mean deviation. If it is positive, add it to the assumed mean, and if it is negative, I have deducted from the assumed mean. Okay, so all the questions of this particular set are done. Next set of question. Uh, Again, we have pie diagrams. Percentage of students enrolled in different activities in a school N is 3000 over here. So this is the breakup of 3000. And percentage breakup of girls enrolled in these activities out of total students. And this is the breakup of 1750. These, uh, 1750, uh, 1750 is the total number of girls. So this is the breakup of girls. So precisely 1750 uh, number of girls and uh, 1250 number of boys. Okay. Now, the first question, number of girls enrolled in dancing form what percent of total number of students in the school? Okay, number of girls uh, in dancing. See, total number of girls, 1750. In dancing, 20% girls are there, right? So, 1750, 20% is 1 by 5. And this is what percent of the total number of students? So, total number of students is 3000. So this is our calculation to be done. Eleven point something something. When you just go for the cancellation, just go for some approximation over here because you just have to find out the initial two data. Okay, 12, 14, 11 and 10. So your answer is around 11. So no need to calculate further because rounded of two, two digits. So 11.67 is the correct answer. Okay. 
how many boys are enrolled in singing and craft together so for that uh, total students in singing and craft uh, from the total number of students in singing and craft if we deduct the number of girls in singing and craft then we'll be able to get the number of boys in singing and craft so total number of students in singing and craft is 46 percent of 3000 so I can say it is 30 into 46 right these are the total number of students in singing and craft from this we deduct the number of girls singing and singing and craft so 28 plus 22 that is 50 percent of 1750 so that is precisely 175 into 5 I take 5 as common then it is 6 into 46 6 6 yeah 36 6 76 minus 175 so that is 101 into 5505 okay very simple I hope you are clear uh, what is the respective ratio of number of girls enrolled in swimming to number of boys enrolled in swimming okay so number of girls enrolled in swimming is 14% uh, of 1750 so that is precisely 1750 into 0.14 so I just take out this so into 1.4 further I uh, take out 15 and 12 so it is 35 into 7 so now I can delete this uh, decimal okay so this calculation is as good as this so the total number of girls is 245 right and the total number of uh, students is uh, in swimming is uh, 16 percent of 3000 that is 480 so this is the number of girls and in the denominator we have 480 minus 245 so that is 235 so 549 and 547 this is the correct answer so that's pretty simple uh, what is the total number of girls enrolled in swimming and drawing together swimming 14 drawing 16 so to total 30 percent of 1750 so precisely our calculation is 175 into 3 simple what is the approximate percentage of boys in school see 3000 students are there out of them 1750 are girls so 1250 are boys so from uh, 31250 are boys almost 41-42% so that's not there in the option so that's none of these so we are done almost all questions of this set so you might have observed that both the sets were really very easy this one and the previous one so some of the question will be really time consuming but some of the question you can do very easily in very less amount of time so all the questions are from SBI PO paper 2014 from data interpretation and data analysis section we have done okay and I hope you are clear with all the questions